Hey there, it's Tash here from Art Song and Soul, and I'm um, sharing with you another design team project for LSH Angels. Um, I actually have been really busy um, these last couple of weeks, and I haven't actually had a chance to finish off the mini album that I was making using one of Cynthia Luhu's templates. So I'll show you that in the very near future. But what I wanted to show you today was um, some of the things I have been crafting because um, I've teamed up with this lady and we've got a stall at the local um, sort of artsy crafty market and um, she sells revamped and little treasures and um, upcycled vintage vintage-esque um, clothes and awesome stuff that she finds along her travels and um, so I kind of thought oh I can make some stuff with those kind of themes and I just wanted to show you guys because um, everything that I want to show you is so easy and we all know how to do it and I just wanted to share with you what I've been up to so um, I, know I, showed with, I know I showed you guys a journal that I had made last um, design team project and well I'm still on that journal kick and I've just been making heaps of these um, vintage um, junk journal slash smash book you know and um, they're so much fun guys and they're so easy and you can make them in any style you want I'm just going to start making some shabby chicy kind of ones with more pastel colours but these are my vintage inspired ones and they are just so easy to create so those are my journals that I've been making um, now you guys know if any of you's any of you guys watch any of my videos you'll know that I just have a thing for making flowers satin flowers um, fabric flowers, lace flowers and um, I go on these massive flower binges and I just make hundreds of flowers out and then I'm like hmm because there's only so many mini albums you can you know put them on and I love to send them away as racks but um, I've been making these I just attach a little um, brooch clip at the back I put these real gorgeous little centers in the middle these are these little rick rack um, flowers I've been making and um, there's heaps of tutorials on how to make them but I literally just roll the rick rack up and that's it and I glue I glue them along the way and I just make these little um, rick rack rose buds <laughs> say that five times fast um, and so these are all these stick pins that we love making girls just so easy let's put that on the back this is um, a satin um, the camera's not really picking up it but it's actually got roses, cabbage roses on it but this is a satin flower, we all know how to make this, it's a lollipop flower burn the edges, there's so many tutorials on how to do this guys and we've all made them before and um, this is a nice way really nice gifts and they're really all in at the moment M my daughter she's a teenager and she loves all this stuff at the moment so it's great this is an old brooch I found so yeah and this one I've put chains on the bottom so just fun to make totally not my style at all I, I, I this is not how I roll at all but um, I love to make this stuff because it's t just gorgeous um, another thing that I've been recently addicted to is Pinterest and if you go on there you will just be like so inspired you know my mouth waters at some of the stuff and this is another gorgeous idea I got it, well, it wasn't anything like this but um, a lady threaded some beads like this and I just thought that'll make a lovely necklace so I've just threaded it onto some lace I reckon this looks so shabby chicy so that for a necklace and some of our beautiful cameos that we have that is so simple I I um, 
took a whole lot of chains that I had on another necklace that had just chains and chains, meters long worth of chains and I just made about four or five necklaces out of it and I just did that to a cameo, put a little ribbon up there and um, I've also been making some of our big flowers and I think these are a beautiful way to use the flowers that we make with all the beautiful lace that we collect and I've just um, cut a piece of wire I've adhered these onto the wire and covered the back up and then the little bit of wire that's left on I've just threaded some pearls made a loop on each end of the wire and just attached some lace it's a really simple and beautiful I can just imagine this on a little um, little girl, little bridesmaid or you know somebody who's sort of into the vintage look and who can pull it off <laughs> those are beautiful, these ones are just just some more necklaces I've made that kind of goes on the side I'll have photos of these guys and links to where I'll post all the photos so yeah I just wanted to show you guys all the things that you can do with all the flowers that we make that's another one on a wire and just to cover up the loops I just stuck a little bow there so that's that and um, here are some of the chains I've been making these are just some of those Tim Holt fragment pieces I've just attached, I think this was graphic 45 I've just adhered um, a little image on there and then gone over it with I, it's like glossy accents but it's not glossy accents and I can't remember the name and I don't know where the bottle is but glossy accents will do the job or anything like that just really easy guys and um, what else have I been making? I've been making these canvas, these mixed media canvases. These are also obviously in a shabby chic kind of style. Mint green is really in, and I've just used up some of the gorgeous laces that we collect. Covered a dress form in it. I collaged um, a canvas with some um, pattern paper, you know, dress sewing pattern tissue and some music note paper. This is a Tim Holtz die that I got from Faith and I'll put her link down the bottom too. She she kindly die cuts heaps of die cuts for me. <laughs> and these are just some rolled roses out of mulberry pa paper and some Prima um, petals there. I just brush over everything with some um, gesso and so I've been making a couple of these shabby chic um, styled canvases got a little chain out here so easy guys and really beautiful and lastly I've just been making a whole heap of cards um, I'm new to card making but it is another addiction because um, they're so easy and they're so cute and um, quick to make and it's kind of like making um, mini albums, but you don't have to sort of have to commit yourself to a whole to a whole book. So I've been making out those. Those are I'm using graphic 45 and um, vintage music paper. I'm making baby ones. This is the doily. Really easy. So, um, Count your blessings, just so easy. And some Mariposa ones. So yeah, that's what I've been up to guys. Um, I hope to show you my um, my mini album that I've made using the Cynthia Luhu templates um, the next time I um, have a design team project. But for now that's... Um, what I've got to share with you. So thanks for watching. Make sure you come over to the LSH website, join in on all the fun over there, meet some amazing crafty ladies and get some inspiration. Um, all the um, templates and stuff are free to um, LSH members, so make sure you come over and join in on the fun. Thanks guys. Art Song and Soul. 
I hear the rumble, it was low. Chose is mine.